Hello everyone, I'm Daniela and for today's video we're going to be making some rope face covers. This is one of the two that I made. Uh, I used a crochet thread for the colored bits. You can also use uh, embroidery floss, though I think it will make the project a bit more expensive since you kind of need a lot. And also some rope, which at first I thought it was called jute, but upon searching on Google I found that this is actually sizzle, which I also think it's cheaper than jute. Uh, the only downside is that it hurts your fingers a little, a little bit. It's pretty rough, but I think it looks really cute either way. By the way, if you lack the patience or the time to make a complete uh, vase cover, you can also just keep it flat and just do the round bit, and you can use it as a pot holder or a coaster even. The materials are just these two that I mentioned, but I'm also gonna leave them um, in the description box below in case you have any doubts. So, let's get started! Get the biggest needle you have and thread it. The thicker uh, the thread is, uh, the more it will stand out, so I'm doubling it. Tie both ends of the thread onto the rope with a double knot and cut the excess. Then, to start coiling, use the needle to pierce the cord about 2 cm below the knot. Pull the cord and use your fingers to coil the rope around itself. Holding it tightly, bring the rope around until it reaches the thread and pierce the whole coil, bringing the needle from one side to the other. Repeat the same thing, bring the cord around and put the thread through to hold it in place. Keep coiling the cord until you feel like it has a nice size and it feels secure enough. I did 4 loops. Then we can start knotting the thread around. To do that, bring it to the inside of the rope, like this. Then loop it around the rope, catching a small piece of the coiled bit underneath. And pull. The same thing again, loop around, catch part of the coil and pull. Try to evenly space out the cords while doing this. As you can see, mine were getting really close together, so I had to adjust them a little bit. Keep repeating the same process until you complete a full loop.
Now that you have that, the process is exactly the same, except you need to attach the thread to the stitches you just made on the previous loop. Not totally necessary, but I discovered that catching a small edge of the rope along with the thread gave the whole thing more stability. Once you run out of colored thread, you simply cut it out of the needle and tie another one to that end. Keep sewing slash tying the rope around and once the bottom has the right size for your vase, you can start bringing the rope upwards. Simply do that by shifting the rope over the edge and keep on sewing the whole piece around. knots tight but make sure to leave the cord loose enough so it keeps a straight shape and it doesn't end up with a smaller top. Make it as tall as you need and once it has the perfect size, simply tie the thread with a double knot around the cord. Lastly, you just need to cut the cord. And that is it! This is the finished result. I wanted to 
honestly really happy how this came out. They have a really cool artsy slash boho feel to it that I really like. You can even try making a rainbow colored one. So uh, every time your thread runs out, you just need to change it for another colorful one. If you make a base cover or pot holder or coaster, like I said, uh, you can share it with me on Instagram at curlymade and I will add all your recreations on my stories and we can have a tab filled with all your projects. This week, Leah V. Sunder, I hope I'm not mispronouncing your username, uh, made one of my DIYs. It's the netted stone uh, friendship bracelet and it looks really fantastic. It's made from a stone that her boyfriend found at the beach, which is really actually very cool. Uh, so you guys definitely should check it out, the You Made It tab. It's filled with all of your projects. Thank you so much for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more DIYs like this. And I'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Bye!